Hello and welcome to our analysis on Franz Kafka's Metamorphosis. On July 3, 1883, Franz Kafka was born. He would go on to write several great novels, one of them being The Metamorphosis. The Metamorphosis is a novella about a man named Gregor Samsa, who wakes up one morning to discover he has turned into a monstrous bug. The story then follows Gregor as he and his family navigate this transformation, ending in, spoiler alert, Gregor's death. The story, however, is about much more than that. Gregor's transformation and the resulting story represent his depression, change in personality, and the overall idea of worth through sacrifice. It is a poetic portrayal of the people of the time, suffering from mental illness and loss of purpose in the lives of middle-class workers, told by a middle-class worker himself. We will be looking at this novella through the eyes of a psychoanalyticist. Psychoanalytic theory is the study of the author and the character's mind and emotions. In the end, a story is really about the characters, how they think, feel, and interact with the world around them. Psychoanalytic theory takes that concept further, delving within the characters to study how they connect to the reader's thoughts, feelings, and interactions with the world. Another aspect of psychoanalytic theory is the study of the author through the story. When authors write, they often leave clues to their own lives and opinions within the story and characters. Learning about the author is like learning about the characters on a whole new level. To make this process more simple, let's start with a few questions from the novel. How does Franz Kafka relate to Gregor Samsa? Kafka was born into a wealthy German-Jewish family during a time when Jewish people were not very respected in Germany. He was different, often hiding behind books to escape his tyrannical father. Because of this, he excelled in school, but only seemed to have two close friends. His younger sister, Otla, and a like-minded man named Max Brod, who he met in Prague. During his life, Kafka experienced health issues like insomnia, anxiety, a negative body image, depression, and suicidal tendencies. He died on June 3, 1924, from tuberculosis. Now, back to the reading. In The Metamorphosis, Gregor Samsa turns into a bug. Not very normal, right? But there are some things about Gregor that also change, things many people today experience. Because Gregor is a bug, he has trouble doing things like getting out of bed or walking out of his room. He also doesn't like eating the same foods he used to, or the same activities he used to. Instead of worrying about being a bug, he worries about how he will get to work, almost like he doesn't care about being a giant insect. All these things are symptoms of depression, something Kafka experienced himself. Another way to look at the connection between Gregor and Kafka is Kafka's relationship with his body. According to the Franz Kafka Museum website, Kafka felt that he was physically weak and therefore inadequate, which might have been enforced by his imposing father. Some theorists believe that Gregor only thinks he is a bug, which would parallel Kafka's own self-image. Whether or not the theory holds true, we can infer that there were times in his life when Kafka felt he was a monstrous, verminous bug. How does Gregor Samsa figuratively transform during the novella? Gregor's physical transformation is not the only change he experiences. There is a steady but subtle change in Gregor's thoughts and actions as well. At one point, Gregor wonders if he is losing his inner humanity, despite the fact that he still cares about human things like his family and how his sister feels. Gregor at first believes that losing the furniture that hurts his bug life is in his best interest but quickly and fiercely changes his mind. The focus of Gregor's anxiety also changes. At the beginning, his only worry is how he will get to work, and if he cannot work, how his family would provide for themselves. As his days become lonelier and more isolated, 
Gregor begins to agonize over his monstrous form and the fact that his family no longer cares for him more than necessary. He dreams of his sister accepting him and caring for him, but the reality is that she now finds him disgusting. Towards the end of the story, he begins to feel less worried and more frustrated. Gregor's final transformation, however, takes place after the ultimate betrayal of his humanity by his sister, the one he loved and trusted the most. Gregor, who believes himself to be an unclean animal not worth even to sacrifice, decides that his only option is to die. And he does, feeling only love for his family, who he was frustrated with only a few days ago. His end is peaceful, quite different from his frantic awakening at the beginning of the novel. This leads us to our final and deepest question. What does Gregor sacrifice? And how does his family change because of his sacrifice? One important piece of characterization to focus on is Gregor's description at the beginning of the story. In the English version, he is called a monstrous verminous bug, but in the original German version, the word used to describe him more accurately means unclean beast not suited for sacrifice. The important part to focus on here is the sacrifice. Throughout the story, it becomes apparent that Gregor has sacrificed many things for his family, like his time and happiness, by working to provide for them. Even so, at the beginning of the story, his family isn't happy. They're in a sort of static, lulled state, not doing much and relying on Gregor for most things. But after Gregor dies, his family actually feels joyful. Gregor's family starts thinking of the future in a hopeful way, and they even seem more healthy, especially the sister. One way Kafka represents this concept is through a motif, in this case the window. At the beginning of the story, the window shows a dreary morning sky, representing a dreary outlook. But after Gregor's death, the window shows a bright, sunny, inviting outside. Despite Gregor's feelings about his own self-worth, his sacrifice means something. His family, who he loved so dearly in his last moments, was saved by him and his actions. It's a depressing yet bittersweet story that Kafka told, one he himself probably wanted to believe. Gregor Samsa's story is about someone whose life meant something, and every person wants their life to mean something. Psychologically, Samsa represents our deepest desires for acknowledgement and purpose, which is why his story connects to people so deeply. Thank you for listening to my analysis of The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka.